What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw the face at a back three quarter view. So let's get started. So when I'm drawing any kind of face at any point of view, I like to start out with a circle because the human skull is not exactly a circle, but I like to imagine it as a circle so it can help me draw the face at any point of view. So obviously my circle isn't perfect and frankly it doesn't have to be, but we can move forward from here. So when I'm drawing my face at a back three quarter view, it's facing to the right. So when I draw my center line for this, it's going to be facing the opposite direction. So instead of facing right along with the face, it's going to be facing the left. So I'm just going to draw that coming around the circle and then it's going to come straight. like that all right and then we're also going to draw another line on this circle but it's going to be horizontal and it's also going to intersect this center line too so we're going to draw x right there where they intersect and it's going to be three quarters of the way down just so you can help position it so you should end up with something that looks like this so this is the kind of guidelines you would make if you're drawing your face at a three quarter view but facing that way. But this could also work if you're doing it at a back three quarter view facing that way, which is what we're doing in this video. So right here where this horizontal line hits the circle, we can begin to draw the face shape from here. So I'm gonna start here. And just make like a little cheek, curving out and then coming back in. And then we can pick a stopping point, which is close to this center line here. And then from this line, we can make a curve that connects back to here. And in any case, you may have to make one of each line a little bit longer just so they can connect which is what I just did, so do it however. Just make them connect to each other. Okay, and now right here where they do intersect, we can begin to draw the neck. So I'm just gonna make a curve like right about here, right about off of that X. Just start there and make a curve that looks somewhat like a straw. Okay, so that's one part of the neck, and now I'm going to go to the other side of this center line here, and I'm going to draw another line that indicates the neck. So I think here is a good position, so I'm just going to draw in another line, maybe like an opposite curve of this one. Like that. And then just to be extra, I'm just going to add like a little collar onto this character because this is going to help him look like he's wearing a polo shirt. But um, if you want to do something similar, then, you know, by all means, go right ahead, add whatever you want. But I'm just going to do, I'm going to do me. Okay, so this is what we should have so far. Now what I'm going to do is place the ear. So usually after I draw this horizontal line, this is where the eyes would lie. But since we're not seeing the eyes, the reason that I made this line is to help us place the ear. Because if you check out some of my other how to draw face videos, you notice that the eyes are placed on the same line with the ear. So the real reason I drew this line is to help us place the ear. So I'm going to start off coming close to where we started to draw the face shape and then make a curve like that. And then also turn that into a 2D shape. And then make another curve that comes back to the top. But we're going to stop close to the top. 
so we're not going to go exactly right here we're actually going to start up here and make it curve back around because this is my specific method for drawing ears and I like to do it this way at a back view like that and then just make it into a canal by coming off of one part of the ear making a curved line like that and that and you can also make that even a little bigger if you want in fact that's what I'm gonna do just make a little bit of an adjustment and there we go we have our ear and now since we don't have to worry about drawing the eyes nose and mouth on the face all we have left to do is to draw the hair now in my case I'm drawing my original character and he already has a hairstyle that I can draw like literally right now. But before I time lapse that I just want to let you guys know that if you want to learn from me how to draw different hairstyles on both males and females. I have a whole playlist up here called Cadillac's Barbershop and Hair Salon. And in that playlist I teach you how to draw different hairstyles on both males and females and even how to color hair. So go check that playlist out. There will also be a link in the description so now you have two ways to get there. But in my case I'm just going to draw in a random hairstyle here but after drawing the hair we're pretty much done so what I'm gonna do now is ink this drawing give it some color and then come back to you guys show you what that looks like and end the video so let's go All right, and there you go. That's how you draw a back three quarter view of the face. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I can't let a nigga like